Hello friends in this video tutorial we have discuss one advanced topic like how to make simple application in which we have display that user information who has login into our system by using PHP script with Ajax jQuery. We have received too many requests from our viewers to make video tutorial on how to track online status of user by using PHP script with Ajax jQuery. So here we have make simple code by using PHP object model with Ajax jQuery which we will explain here. If you have social media site then in that site we can see who is current online. So this type of small application we have learned here by using PHP script with functionality of Ajax jQuery. By using this script you can find how many users are online with other details like a mail it and user image also. So you can get currently active members to our system. If you have developed any web-based system then you have to build this type of feature for track online active user. Now let's start learning this topic. This is our testing to database and in this database we have two table like login details and user details. In user details table there is five table column like user id which is primary key of this table, user email, user password, user type and user image. In this table we have already inserted some data. Here we have encrypt password for security and in user type table column, master type user can see the number of user online, and user type user can login then master user can see who is current active user. Same way this is our login details table with table column like login details id, user id and last activity. Here login details it is a primary key and user it is a foreign key to user details table. So when user can login to our system then that user it with login date and time data will be inserted into this table and based on this data we will figure out which user is currently login into our system. Now we have moved to PHP page. This is our index page after login master and simple user will come to this page and without login this page will not be accessed. On this page we have include javascript library jQuery and bootstrap library into this page. First we have moved to write login page code so we have go to login page and here we have write form tag with attribute method is equal to post. In this form tag we have make simple login form. Under this first we have define input type is equal to text with attribute name is equal to user email. Under this text box user can enter his email id. Below this we have we define one more input type is equal to password with attribute name is equal to user password. Under this text box user can enter his password for login to system. Lastly under this form we have write input type is equal to submit with attribute name is equal to login and value is equal to login. By click this button user can send his login details to server for verification. Now we have moved to write PHP code so first we want to make database connection. So make database connection we have create one database connection dot PHP page. Under this page we will make database connection. So here we have write dollar connect variable is equal to new PHP data object with three argument. In first argument we have write mysql host is equal to localhost, database name is equal to testing2, 
In second username argument we have write dollar username and in third password argument we have write blank. This way we have make database connection. We have write session start function. This function will start session on this page. Now we have go to login.php page and on this page here we have write include statement with database connection.php file name. By using this include statement we have include database connection.php into this login page. So whatever code we have write under database connection.php page, that code we can access here. Then after we have write dollar message variable is equal to blank value. In this value we will store validation message and display on web page. Now we have write if statement and under condition we have write is set function with dollar post login variable which is name of submit button. This condition will check if value of this button is set then it will execute if block of code. Suppose value of dollar post login variable value is set then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write if statement with condition like empty function with dollar post user a mail variable or empty function with dollar post user password variable. Here this condition will check if both value or one of the variable value is blank then it will execute if block of code otherwise it will execute else block of code. Suppose both or one of the variable value is blank then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write dollar message variable is equal to text like both fields are required. But suppose both variable value is not blank then it will execute else block of code under this block we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from user details table where user a mail is equal to double colon user a mail. Here we have use PHP data object for database operation so here we have write dollar statement variable is equal to database connection string dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable. Here by using prepare statement we have make query for execution. Now we want to execute this prepare statement query. So we have write dollar statement variable with execute method and under this method we have write array with key user a mail with value dollar post user a mail variable. So here we have execute prepare statement query by using execute method and here we have pass data in execute statement by this array. So this way we have execute query in PHP data object. Then after we want to get number of rows affected by this query execution. So we have write dollar count variable is equal to dollar statement variable with row count method. By this method we can get number of rows affected by query execution and store into dollar count variable. Now we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar count variable value greater than zero. If dollar count variable is greater than zero then it will execute if block of code otherwise it will execute else block of code. Suppose dollar count variable is equal to zero then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write dollar message variable is equal to text like wrong a mail address. But suppose dollar count variable value is greater than zero then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method. Here we have fetch query execution result and store into dollar result variable by using fetch all method. Now we want to access data from this dollar result variable so we have write for each loop with dollar result variable as dollar row variable. 
So by using for each loop we can access data of dollar result variable. Under this loop we have write if statement and under condition we have write password verify function with two argument. In first argument we have write dollar post user password variable and in second argument we have write dollar row user password variable value get from table. Here we have use password verify function which are used to verify encrypted hash password. Here dollar post user password value get from login form in simple form and dollar row user password variable value get from user details table which are store encrypted form. So by using password verify method we can verify encrypted password. So if password is match then it will execute if block of code but suppose password is not match by this password verify method then it will execute else block of code. Suppose password is not match with stored encrypted password then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write dollar message variable is equal to text like wrong password. But suppose password is match then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write dollar insert query variable is equal to insert into login details table with table column like user id. Last activity with values like double colon user id and double colon last activity. Here we want to get details of online users so we want to store login details of which user has login into our system. So we have write this insert query for store user login details. Now we have write dollar statement variable is equal to database connection string dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this statement we have write dollar insert query variable. By using this statement we have make query for execution. After we want to execute this prepare statement so we have write dollar statement variable with execute method with data in array with key user id with dollar row user id variable value get from user details table and second key last activity with value like data function with timestamp in 24 hour format. So here execute method will execute insert query with this data and insert user login data into login details table. Now we want to get last inserted id from this login details table so we have write dollar login id is equal to dollar connect variable with last inserted id method. By using this method we can get last inserted id from this login details table and store into this dollar login id variable. After this we have write if statement and under condition we have write not operator with empty function and under this function we have write dollar login id variable. Here this condition will check if this dollar login id variable has some value then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar session type variable is equal to dollar row user type variable value get from user details table. Here we have create one session type variable and in this variable we have store user type value in this variable. After this we have again write dollar session login id variable is equal to dollar login id variable. Here we have again create second session login id variable and under this we have store value of dollar login id variable. Lastly we want to redirect index page after successfully verified user details. So we have write header function and under this function we have write location with page name index.php. So after successfully login user will redirect to index page. Now we want to display value of this dollar message variable on web page. So here we have write echo statement with dollar message variable. So when this variable has some value then it will display on web page.
After this we do not want to show this login page if user is already login into our system. So here we have write if statement and under condition we have write is set function with dollar session type variable. This condition will check if this dollar session type variable value is set then it will execute if block of code and this variable will be set if user is already login into our system. So under this if block we have write header function and under this function we have write location with page name index.php page. So if this dollar session type variable value is set then it will execute if block of code and this block of code will redirect page to this index.php page. Now we have go to index.php page and here we want to include database connection.php page. So we have write include statement with page name database connection.php page. Now we have go to index.php page and here we want to include database connection.php page. So we have write include statement with page name database connection.php page. This condition will check if dollar session type variable value is not set then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write header function with location login.php page. So if this dollar session type variable value is not set that means user is not login to our system then then can not directly access this page and they were redirect to login page. Now we have save this code and check output in browser. Friends you can see when page has been load into browser. Then we can see login page not index page. System directly redirect to login page and we cannot access index page. So on login page we have directly click on login button then we have received error message like both fields are required. Then after we have again write wrong email and wrong password and click on login button. Then after we have received wrong email address error message on web page. After this we have write proper master user email john smith at gmail.com and wrong password. Now we have received error message like wrong password on web page. Lastly we have write proper email john smith at gmail.com and proper password password and click on login button. After click on login button page has been redirect to index.php page. That means our login code is working with all validation. Now we have check into login details table to check user login details data has been inserted into login details table or not. So here we have can see login details has been inserted into this login details table. In next part we will how to display online user. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial. Please comment you query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.